Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. This has been one of my favorite go-to technique-wise makeup looks. It's similar to the look I wore on Halloween when I was a sloth. And if you didn't know, I was a sloth on Halloween and it was fabulous. I loved it, it was such a good time. These are all the same techniques. Really nice because it's like this sculpted eye, sculpted skin, sculpted lip and we all know I love a good neutral. It's no surprise here. This video is also sponsored by Sigma ooh, ooh, the OG makeup brushes that we all know and love. I am gonna be using some of their brushes as well as their sculpt highlight and contour palette that I have right here. So let's go ahead and get started with the toot Tutorial. Recently, I've been using a lot of bronzers, contour powders for my eyeshadow, especially for my transition shade, just because it ties everything together and it's just nice and seamless for me. So I'm gonna be dipping into the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette, which is right here. I'm first gonna pick up Throw Shade, which is this nice warm tone right here. I'm tilting my head back so that I could clearly see my socket line. And I'm gonna start kind of in the center here and apply this shade right up in here into the lower brow bone area. And then out and extend the eye on the edge of the brow. So just following my brow shape and extending the eyeshadow all the way down this way. Even though my eye would go down this way, I'm just taking it all the way out over here. So this has a really nice, beautiful, warm tone. So it just looks really nice in that crease. Look at that, boom. So you guys see how I'm bringing it up into almost as if you're gonna take it down into the nose contour area. Don't be afraid to blend this outwards into the temple. Just make sure it's nice and blended all the way out. And if you do go too far, we're gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe, so no problem. Next, I'm gonna go in with a Sigma Exact Blend E32 brush. This is a really nice fluffy flat shader brush. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Hollow from this palette right over here. Finale, dipping into the shade hollow. Again, tilt my head back to get the crease and I'm going to start applying this just directly into the socket. I'm gonna do just the inside so I can get both my lids more even here. I've been really liking using a flat shader brush into the crease lately, which I usually don't ever do that. I just feel like it gives me nice control and then I can blend out the edges afterwards. In between applying the color with the flat brush, I'm gonna use the Sigma Blending E25 brush. This is clean, no product on it, and this is what I'm gonna use to diffuse those edges. But I wanna keep the color closest to the actual crease very, very rich, rich. So what we're doing here is just buffing out the edges slightly. Switching back to the flat shader brush and deepening this up. This is a really great shade if you don't want your eyeshadow to turn out too warm tone, especially me, I have a lot of redness naturally on my lids. So even if I use a color that's pretty neutral, I still get that red that comes through. Um, this color is actually very cool, so it's perfect. For my lid, pretty much what I did to prep my eyes was I used a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and then I went over it with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So you don't actually have to apply an eyeshadow to the lid, but if you want to go ahead and apply like a bone colored eyeshadow, I'll just dip into this one right here, which is a, uh, this is the Safari palette from Natasha Denona, but any bone color works. I'm just gonna tap it over just to reinforce my lid color, nothing crazy. What's nice is you could actually really highlight the lid right here, give a little boom. You don't have to, you could just diffuse it all out, but it's nice to clean up any eyeshadow that may have gone down. I'm just using a flat concealer brush. This is the Sigma Concealer F70. Just kind of made my crease pop even more, but it's not too different. You see, like, is it even worth it? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Probably not, you don't even have to do this, but here I am. This is why I take so long, because I just do things for no reason. I like to live on the wild side. 
I realized on my trip that I'm too much of a perfectionist and these lights are too bright. These lights are what make me move slowly because you can see everything. But listen, if you're in a hotel room with bad lighting, you don't see anything and you feel yourself, okay? You look good, nothing to worry about. You're like, wow, I look incredible. Then you go into these lights and it's like the popo just caught you, you know, and you're like, that's good. All right, let's not waste anyone's time here. So we're gonna dip into the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette, and I'm gonna pick up this rock bottom shade right over here. It's just this nice chocolatey brown. I'm using a Sigma Small Angled E65 brush. We are going to create a wing along our lash line. So I'm starting on the outer part lightly. Hi, Mr. Burnsing. I don't know why I do that. I think one person told me that my posture is awful. She was like, I'm a yoga Pilates expert and your posture is awful. And I was like, listen, it's not, it's my desk. It's too low. I need elbow anchors. I need to put my elbows on something. So when I do my makeup, my elbows are down here anchoring myself. And then I'm like, in all my videos, it's just, you know, you can't win them all. I mean, she was right. My posture is like, but it's, it's, it's like, it's the desk. It's not me. Oh, I love doing wings with eyeshadow because it's just so easy. So now that we got that going, let's go ahead and lift the eyes. There we go. You guys, my mom just left today. And it's so sad for me. I'm just so sad that she had to go back to work. She'll be back for Christmas, but still. Uh, isn't it the best having your parents around to like baby you and make you feel like a kid again? I just, I love it so much. I'm also gonna just take that into the inner corner here. Let me get out of my Mr. Burns position. Just kind of extend the inner corner of my eye slightly. You see how I brought that shadow in? I'm taking a Sigma Smudge E21 and I'm gonna dip in a cherry, which is this color right over here. I'm just taking a small amount of that, tapping it off on the back of my hand and I'm gonna run it across the very, very edge of this chocolate eyeshadow to really smoke it out a little bit, soften in these lines, and just bring in a tiny pinch of warmth. Just gives it like a sexier, smokier look. Ooh, you see that? Mm. What are your Christmas plans, guys? What are, you, what are you up to? Are you hosting Christmas? Are you going somewhere for Christmas? Tell me, let me know, what's up? I'm, you know, obviously if you've been watching my stories, you know I'm really into Christmas right now. Like I am going full blown Christmas. Steven's just kind of like, more lights? What? He's trying to get all grinchy on me, you guys. I've been posting all my gifts that my mom wrapped on my story and I was like, damn, we should have filmed that. I did film some stuff, I actually have a Christmas decor vlog coming up. We're so behind on vlogs here. We have Victoria's Secret vlog going up this week. South Africa vlog, which we, you know, we, we weren't even gonna put up a vlog, but we we have to. So this is like so many good memories there. So Steven's just like, he keeps talking about it. Like he knows it's a lot of footage and he just, I could see you. He's like overwhelmed. Now that I've added the wing, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that chocolate brown and add it into the crease just slightly. So I'm gonna be taking the Sigma Shader Crease. Uh, this is the E47 brush. It's like very thin, perfect for detail work. So I'm going back into this deeper chocolatey shade, just dabbing the tiniest amount because this is very pigmented, again, on the back of my hand. And then I think I'm just going to really add just the slightest amount to deepen the very crease here. I don't want the wing liner to be so much more intense than the crease. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. I really love these tones. Like, the combination of the cool contour shades and like just the pinch of warmth but not too red is so pretty. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara X Makeup Shayla. I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes before applying some falsies. Now I'm feeling some cocoa lashes today. Queen Bee, I don't know, I haven't worn these in so long that I might feel weird in them, but I'm just like, something drew me towards them. These used to be Katie's like go-tos. They're like her iconics, I feel like. Where's my skizzers? Gotta cut a lot of these off, my eyeballs are not that big. 
Oh, you know, I had a feeling this was gonna be amazing with this eyeshadow look because this is why. I wanna be able to see the wing through the lashes because these are nice and separated and spiky. They're gonna be perfect. Ooh, let's get a little lash glue on them, prep these up using my House of Lashes glue. Oh, yes. I'm gonna be using the Becca Skin Love Foundation in the shade Bamboo. I'm gonna be using the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush for this. It's funny because before, Bamboo was a little too light for me. Now, it's kind of the right shade. This foundation's been looking so good. I really actually love applying it with a brush. And I'm trying to do just a nice light layer because as you guys know, I have not been wearing foundation and I kind of want to keep with it, but because I'm going to a couple events tonight, I feel like I don't want to risk looking like extra pale. Like my body and my face need to even out before I make this, you know, commitment here. All right, so next up for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Becca Aqua Luminous in beige. I'm just going down, blending it into the sides of the nose and then also into this area over here around the nose. Next, I'm taking a little bit of Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to set the under eyes and the sides of the nose here. Now it's time to sculpt and highlight the skin. I'm going back into the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. It's great because it has so many different shades. You have cool tones, warm tones, and very large pan sizes. So like I showed you guys, I use this for my eyeshadow and also to sculpt and contour the face. Typically, I like to pick up a warmer shade to bronze the skin first, and then I like to go in and contour a little bit. To bronze, I'm gonna use Throw Shade, which is this one right over here. It has a nice warm undertone. I wanna do a light dusting of this Throw Shade color. So I'm gonna be using the Sigma Spotlight Duster. This is the F37. This brush isn't super dense, so it has a nice flexible application. So you can use this at the perimeter of your face, your forehead. I like to shrink my forehead slightly, so I kind of make a little dome shape right here. Just go in with a light hand, especially with bronzers. You don't want bronzer helmet. This brush is so soft. And I don't know if you guys know this, they actually offer two year guarantee on all Sigma brushes. So this is a nice buildable formula. So you can apply a little or as much as you want. I like to always apply the tiniest amount and build up because you can't ever go back once you've added too much. So I'm lightly doing circular motions in the hollows and then kind of going the other direction to make sure it's all blended. There's no like line here with the bronzer. Also just taking it on the jawline. So once I feel like I have a nice overall tan, glowing complexion, some color, some sun. I'm gonna go in with Faking It, which is this one right here. This is a really nice, cool tone, especially for the nose contour. I'm gonna look straight into my mirror so I could see. I like to start right here first to kind of guide my way. And then take it lightly up the sides. I know it looks crazy right now, just give me a second, okay? Blend it out. A little product goes a long way, so just take a little and I don't really have to dip back into it. Okay, I'm just taking a fluffier brush and blending this out. I'm gonna take a little bit more faking it and really connect the bridge to the nose here just slightly. I'm also gonna pick up a little bit of faking it and apply that into the Cupid's bow. Why you add? Because I like to look like I have a deep, ocean deep Cupid's bow here. Mm, you see that? I just accentuated. And lastly, I'm picking up the Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush. This is the F40. So I'm gonna take faking it, and I'm just going to contour out here. <laughs> Sculpt those cheekbones. Perfection. So next I'm gonna dip into Shine On. This is a highlight shade, this shimmer highlight, and I'm gonna be placing that down the center of the nose as straight as I can to highlight, as well as the tip of the nose here. And then I like to tap over it with my finger to kind of diffuse it, blend it out, melt it into the skin. Look at that. <sighs> that just made my nose like swing. I'm also gonna take that on the Cupid's bow. And then I'm also gonna be taking a little bit of that just right here. 
just spotlighting the top of the cheekbone right here. I'm gonna be using MAC Peach Twist Blush for this look. I like this one because it's not too peachy. See how it has a nice, warm, like, cozy? It has a cozy color. I'm just gonna like, mm -hmm, give a little smile. Again, using the spotlight duster so I don't get too crazy. Perfection. We need to finish off the eye look. I haven't done my lower lash line yet, so I'm gonna do that. I'm picking up the Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham liner. This is like a nice nude color, and I'm gonna put the nude liner into the waterline. We're gonna take a little pencil brush, and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna be using this shade first, throw shade, like we used in the crease. I'm gonna go right under that and really hug that nude liner. Yeah, so I'm gonna use a dose of colors pencil brush first because this is almost like the same as a transition shade. I want to diffuse the whole lower lash line with this. I'm gonna take the Sigma Detailed, this is actually a detailed lip brush, but I'm gonna use it for the eyes. Going back into that dark brown we used for the liner, and I'm gonna start applying this on the outer lower lash line. Connecting it up to that brown liner that we have up there. For my lip liner, I'm gonna go in with Max Spice. This isn't really a lip liner I typically wear, but I'm feeling the vibes of it today. I want it to pull a little bit of the warmth from the warm that we have in the eyes. I'm gonna be taking MAC HodgePodge, which is a little bit more of a brown shade. And just at the very edge of the lip, I'm gonna be lining with this color. Sorry if I'm Mr. Burnsing, I need to anchor my elbows. I call it Mr. Burnsing because obviously the substance who walks around like this. Why two lip liners, you may ask? If I just do really, really dark, then it might look a little, little cholita, which sometimes it calls for that. I'm here for that, but right now, I want it to be more of a blended color from dark to warm and then to nude. So for the lipstick, I'm gonna be using Joseph Colors. Hey girl, this is our collaboration shade. I'm doing this padding because I want it to blend into the lip liners. In the very, very center, I'm gonna use MAC The Right Note because I want it to be a little bit more nude right here. And this has like kind of a cool tone. I want it to mimic the eyes in a way, like cool and warm, cool and warm. I know that's a lot of lip products, but sometimes it'd be like that, you know? Ooh, yeah. Cool, now you gotta put a little Fix Plus. Siempre. All right guys, this is it. This is my finished sculpted makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment down below. Everything I used will be linked in the description box as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm, do I need to do that? Ooh, let's see. Said, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know. I keep going like this and it has no mirror. There's an eyelash stuck to it, of course. Wouldn't be mine if there wasn't an eyelash stuck to it. <laughs>